Alright, what's going on guys? Today, we're doing a tutorial for TeamSpeak 3. This is going to be linking a domain to a TeamSpeak 3 server, okay? This is where we're using an IP address or an IP address and port. And we're going to be linking that to a domain name so you can connect to your TeamSpeak server using a domain name. Alright, classic YouTube tutorial style, we're going to open up Notepad. Alright guys, so this is what mine's going to look like. Yours might not have the port on the end. If it just has an IP, then that's brilliant, all right? That makes things a lot simpler. But if you're like me and you have a port on the end, then you're going to be in a bit of trouble. But it's okay to get you sorted out. This isn't my actual IP and port. I've changed the numbers around. By the looks of things, this IP is somewhere in China. So that looks fun. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this and we're going to get it sorted, okay? So this first part, is an IPv4 address, all right? Now, as the virtual server, so we have a port because we have lots of other people sharing that server. It's a bit like saying a block of flats, all right? So this is the apartment building and this is our specific apartment, all right? If you want to think of it that way. So technically, the block of apartments or the block of flats is one big house, it's one big server, right? And this is our individual flat, or our individual apartment, right? So this is our virtual server, how to get on it, okay? We're gonna grab, we're gonna go onto our domain website, alright? We're gonna go to the control panel. You might be on GoDaddy or something, it'll look similar. But basically, what you need to do is to get onto your domain names. I only have one at the moment, officiallymjb.uk. Let's click on that. And then next, we're gonna manage our DNS settings, alright? Now, don't worry, this might look a bit intimidating at first, just you're going to get through it, right? It's going to be okay. So, we're going to go on to Advanced DNS, and we're going to make some uh, some entries now. Alright, so here, we're going to create a new record. We're going to do an A-type record, okay? And what this is going to do is it's going to link our IP address, just the IP address, not the port, just the IP address, to a domain name, alright? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go and put our IP in there, paste that in like that, lovely jubbly. Alright, obviously that's not my actual IP, so don't even try. As I said, I looked it up, it's somewhere in China, I think. Funny, funny. Anyways, next we're going to link it up to a host name. Now, my domain is officiallymjb.uk, that's my, my domain name. But, what we're going to do is we're going to whack someone else on the front of it, alright? We don't set up the whole domain, we just want a little bit of it, okay? So, I'm going to call it TS, alright? And then I'm going to call it ts.officiallymjb.uk, because that's my do domain, okay? And that's to get on to my TeamSpeak. So next, we're going to add that as a record. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely jubbly. So next, that's half it done. All right. If you only had your IP, what you could do is now you can copy that part of your domain. So it would have been ts.yourdomain. So mine would have been ts.officialimagery.uk. You can just copy that and you can paste that into TeamSpeak and that will work for you. Okay. That's just going to work. If we grab that... And we can actually whack our port in there. So, like this. Now, we can copy just that. And we can now put that into our TeamSpeak. And that is going to work. Alright. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Because that's not my IP. So, it's not going to work. Okay. But that is what you do. Now, we're, that's not good enough for us. Alright. Because basically, all we've done there is we've got rid of the IP bit. And replaced it with the domain. But we still got the port. And we don't really want that. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new type of record, okay? Okay, so next we're going to make an SRV record, okay? So we're going to do one of this, and what we're going to do is we're going to whack in TeamSpeak 3 and then UDP, all right? This will be in the description if you need to copy and paste it. Don't you worry, little cotton socks, all right? Basically, you've got two main methods of transporting data over the interwebs. Alright, you've got TCP and you've got UDP. Alright, there's both different protocols of transporting data. Alright, it's so all in your OSI model transport layer. Just let's not go there, alright. I'm doing networking at the moment for my apprenticeship. So I've been looking into it a little bit. But that's it, that's getting off topic, alright. So that is what is we're going to have as our host name for our SRV record. Okay, next is our priority. I'm going to shove that as a 1. Works for me. Time to live, we're going to have that as 1,800. And then our destination, this is very important. So the first thing we have is our weight. I'm going to whack that as a 5. Next is a space, and then our port. So our port, remember what our port was? Ours was 25565. I'm pretty sure that's Minecraft, but whatever. 
it's not going to be that. Mine's something different, but that's just an example. Next is a space, and then what we had for our A record. So we had, can you remember? TS.OfficiallyMJB.UK. All right, and that's it. You add that. Boom. Easy peasy. Jobs are good. All right, and now what we can do is we can go onto our TeamSpeak, and we can connect using that. So I can, you don't even need the TS on the front, I found. For mine, I could just do officiallymjb.uk and that let me connect to the TeamSpeak. Alright guys, if you have any questions, for the love of God, don't ask me. Now, nah, um, go ahead, drop them down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If it did help, please tell me so other people can see the comments and be like, yes, it works. Reassurance. Yeah, and also drop a like if you fancy it. That just shows me good tutorial, that kind of stuff. If you guys have any requests for other stuff, then go ahead and I'll see if I can cover it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.